Puto clave hay mucho. I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. Su reunión está saliendo. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form this statement. Subject plus verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be, plus the verb in its ing form, plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the example, you can see the verb to be is contracted, and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So, as our examples show, you're wearing shoes. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm back. Okay. Wow. Thank you, you teacher. <laughs> you know, I really love you. I really love that teacher, you know. Wow, excellent. Todos le damos un aplauso virtual. That was amazing. Thank you, Milagro. I really appreciate that, you know. Okay, teacher. Yes. Para okay. compartir. Sí, sí. Baja, sí, bueno. vamos a. Porque son bueno. los ejemplos, pero sí, estaba escuchando el video. Ahorita. Excelente. Clase, sí. gracias, en serio. Ese apoyo se aprecia muchísimo. Vale, bueno. hoy sí ya siento mi compu que ya está mejor. Thank you. Ok. Ahí lo okay. puedo ver otra vez. Vaya, vale. what is the topic? ¿Qué era el tema que estábamos viendo? The present continuous, okay? Continuous. If you may see, um, whenever we use the present continuous, we are going to talk or we are going to refer to actions that are happening in this moment. Siempre se refiere a acciones que pasan en el presente, pero como lo dice su nombre, presente continuo, que está pasando in this moment, okay? For example, if I ask you, what are you doing right now? ¿Qué están haciendo ahorita? What are you doing? ¿Qué oraciones podríamos sacar de ahí? What are you doing? I am working. I am working, okay. ¿Qué más? I am I'm reading. reading. I am reading. I, I am, am learning. I am listening to the I teacher. I am writing the examples. I am taking watching notes. the video. I am taking notes. Look. We are ah, learning, am, learning uh -huh. right ah, now. Muy bien, ya no decimos I am learning. We are learning right now. So that is the present continuous, you know? With this structure, we can have affirmative expressions or sentences, negative sentences, and interrogative. Siempre tenemos ese, esas tres, tres modalidades para las oraciones que creemos, ¿ok? Affirmative, negative, and interrogative. And we are going to learn on how to make them. Ya vamos a revisar un poquito más el video. Hoy sí ya puedo compartir pantalla. I'm really happy. And it's not that difficult. If you see, we are going to use this. ¿Cómo se llamaba eso? ¿Se acuerdan? I am, she is. The verb to be. Are, that is the verb to be. And the I am going to, to use these ones. ¿Cómo se llamaban todos esos grupitos? No. I, you. No. Pronoun. Ajá, los pronombres. Personal, Personal pronoun. pronouns. Personal and after pronoun. that, mm -hmm. identifiquemos, aprendamos a identificar qué lleva una oración. El verbo y le sigue... I-N-G, E-N-G. Look, this is the formula that we have. Oh, this is too big. La formula que necesitamos seguir no es tan difícil. I need a subject. 
And after that, ¿qué dijimos que necesito? Yeah. El verbo to be. Verbo to be. Verbo to be. Exactly. Tres formas es am, is, or are. Ese es el verbo to be, ¿ok? Plus, ¿qué les sigue? That. Ajá, yeah. el verb. And More then, preposition I-N-G. ¿Cómo lo deletreamos? I-N-G. 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 Uh -huh. I-N-G. Plus, a complement. This is for affirmative sentences. Affirmatives. Ese es para las afirmativas. ¿Ok? Escribámoslas para que tengamos la idea. Affirmative. If I want to write negative sentences. It's very similar. Necesito la misma fórmula, pero le agrego algo. ¿Qué no, creen? No. Not. 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 Exacto. Y el not va después del verbo to be. Pongámoslo en mayúscula para que se distinga. Not. Y lo mismo. And for interrogative. It's very similar. Muy similar el interrogativo. Solo miren la misma fórmula y hago un pequeño cambio. I need to move the verb to be at the beginning and after that, the subject. Y luego, ¿qué me sigue? Verbo ing complemento. Solo cambio. I switch the verb to be at the beginning and after that the subject. And at the end, no necesito un punto. ¿Qué necesito? The question mark. mark. Question mark. There we have the formula. Escríbanla para que no se les olvide. The verb to be, it's very popular, you know. Donde sea lo encontramos, el verb to be. And... The present continuous, como vieron, lleva el ing, que en español es igual a qué terminaciones. Look. Ando yendo. Ando. Endo. Y endo. endo. For example, endo. si yo les digo correr, ¿cuál sería el progresivo? Corriendo. 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 Dormir. 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 Durmiendo. Ok. Durmiendo. Tomar. Tomando. 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 Y así. En English is the same. ¿Saben que en inglés es bien similar? Write. Writing. Rain. Sería. Raining. Ok. ¿Qué otro verbo? Learn. Y le agregamos. Learning. Learning. Sleep. Teach. Sleep. Sleeping. Repeat. Repeating. Drive. Okay. Manejar. Driving. Driving. Ajá, entonces, cualquier verbo se puede conjugar en progresivo. Ok. So, let me send you this picture. Les envío esta imagen, por si no la han copiado. It's very important information. Ok. And look at the examples that we have here. I am, or the short form is I am. Your, she's. We're, they're, and it. Okay, these are some examples. Teacher, no lo puede enviar en Kakura, porfa. Yes, okay, yeah, antes de perderlo, incluso se lo voy a enviar mejor. I have it already. Uh, the present continues. It's not that difficult, you know. Ahí creo que no aparecen todos los sujetos. I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. But yes, we can use the same structure with all of the personal pronouns, with all of the subjects. Okay? So, seven to eight. Aquí está. Vamos a tratar de igual, de revisar los ejercicios ahora antes de irnos para que ustedes puedan estar seguros de la sección 4. You can conclude with those activities. Okay, did you get the picture? Yes, yeah. right? Yes, yes. Okay, so let's go back to the 
picture, but let me make it bigger. I guess it's a little bit small. Here we go. So one of the questions that we can use with the present continuous is this one. Una pregunta, what are you doing? Or we can also ask, what is happening in this moment or at this moment? What are you doing? What is happening? Hagamos preguntas. Oh, hoy no se ve tan bien. Okay. What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? What is happening in this moment? And if you see, this is a very different structure. Es otra estructura progresiva. Solo que en este caso, I am using the WH words. Y siempre que ocupe WH words, es porque necesito información. I need information. In this case, if I am using the verb to be, ¿qué tipo de respuestas puedo tener? Si es interrogativo, sí y no. ¿Okay? Siempre que vean el verbo to be como pregunta, tengo dos opciones de respuesta. Yes and no. But if you see this type of questions with WH, you are expecting to get some information. Okay? So what are you doing? You know? I'm wearing shoes. Or what are you wearing? ¿Qué estás vistiendo? Podría ser también. What are you wearing? Y podríamos aplicar lo que hemos aprendido de la ropa. What are you wearing? Okay. We have three questions right now. ¿Cómo las respondemos? Number one. Let me have anyone in the class. What are you doing? What are I, you doing? Okay, tell me. I learning English. Okay, we can say I am learning. They are learning English. English, I really like that one. Okay, who can make a negative sentence? This is an affirmative sentence. Who can make a negative sentence? Diciendo lo que no estamos haciendo. Are you watching TV right now? I'm not I am not. Yes? No? no, I am not. Are I'm you not. sleeping right now? I don't sleep. Ah, como responden? I don't or I am sleep. not? I am not. Uh -huh. I am not. Are you? I am not. I am not. Esa es otra cosa. Necesitamos responder con el auxiliar que me están preguntando. Are you sleeping right now? ¿Cuál es mi auxiliar acá? O el inicio es el no. verbo to oh, be. Oh, yeah. oh. Ajá, entonces no puedo decir no, I don't, no, I am, no, I haven't, no. I am going to say negative, no. I am not, utilizando otra vez el verbo to be. No, or, I am uh, not. Or yes, I am. Okay, let me switch the question. Ya no ocupo sleeping. Are you eating right now? Eat, eating right now? Eat, eating. Are you eating right now? No, no I am not. No, I am no. Are you listening to the class right now? Yes, 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 I am. yes, I am. Are you driving right now? Yes, no. No, no I am okay. not. No. Are you checking WhatsApp right now? No, no, I am no, not. I am not. No, I am not. Yes. Are you checking Facebook right now? No, no, no I am not. No, I am not. Are you writing the examples on your notebook? Yeah. Yes, no, I am. I am. No, I'm not okay, yes, excellent. <laughs> yeah, probably you are not writing. You are memorizing the examples, right? Yes. 
Yes, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, excellent. So you see <laughs> affirmative reply, negative reply. This is with personal information. Okay, ya vieron tres tipos de preguntas. Necesito información. What are you doing? Necesito su respuesta. I am learning English. Y el tipo de preguntas que se responde con sí y no. So what is happening in this moment? What is happening right now? ¿Qué puede decir? We, um, we are. We are in class right finish? now. Ah, we pero necesito studying. un verbo más ing. Listening. We are, uh -huh. we are listening to the teacher. We are listening. Okay, and what are you wearing right now? I am wearing a, bl a blue blouse. A blue blouse, okay. Okay, interesting. I am wearing a blue blouse, okay? Actions that are happening just right now, okay? And if you see, I am using the complete form. I am we are, I am, but you can easily, fácilmente pueden ocupar la forma corta, otra vez ocupé la forma completa, for example, I'm not, you're not, and in this case, we have two choices, podemos hacer corto, el sujeto y el verbo to be, ok, Look, you and are, your. O podemos hacer la forma corta de esta manera. The verb to be and not. Y nos quedaría como aren't. You can say you're not or you aren't. You can say she's not or you can also say she isn't. ¿Y cuál voy a usar? It's up to you. Pueden usar ambas formas de las negativas. For affirmative, para las afirmativas, no hay otra forma, no existe, okay? Only for negative. That we are going to combine not, okay? So let's read this information. Everybody, help me out. Good here. night, teacher. I'm here. Okay, It's me, welcome. Oscar. Okay. Llegué un poco tarde, pero I'm here. Excellent. Thank you for coming and for joining this class. Okay, leamos la primera forma. Negativo. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. 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 I'm not. You're not. You're not. You're not. Or you aren't. You aren't. You aren't. She's not. She's, She's not. Or she isn't. Or she isn't. Is is We're not. We're, we're not, not. Or we aren't. We aren't. Okay, they are not. They are not. Or they aren't. It's not. It's not. It's not. Or it isn't. It isn't. So it is up to you. Si ustedes quieren hacer esta combinación, subject and verb to be. Y luego dejamos not. Or you can no, also have no. the subject no. y unir, hacer eh, corto. The verb to be and not. You aren't, you're not, okay? So this is up to you. Look at these other examples. We can also mix, link two sentences. Podemos unir también dos ideas. Con estas palabritas, and, but, and so. so. ¿Para qué me sirven? Para unir dos ideas. Miren, how is the weather? It is snowing and, and it's, it's wind. 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 Uh -huh. How is the weather? It's it sunny, sunny, but sunny, it's so cold. cold. How is the weather? 
It's windy. It's windy. It's windy. It's windy. So, so, so it is it's very, it's very cold. cold. Okay. It's very cold. cold. Very cold. So if I still have them. Si les quitara estas palabras conjunction, estas palabras para unirlas, siempre okay. tienen sentido. It's snowing. ¿Será que es una oración completa? Yes. It's yeah. windy. También es una oración completa. It's sunny. It's, sunny. it's cold. También it's tiene cold. significado. It's windy. Ajá. It's very cold. Pero para enlazarlas, ¿qué ocupo? Se llaman con yes. Con estas palabritas. En bad. En bad. So. So. En si yo quiero ya um, dos oraciones en lugar de poner un punto final, ubico una coma. Coma before the conjunction. It is now in coma. And it's windy. Punto final. It's sunny, comma, but it's yeah, cold. It's cold. And I place the period at the end. It's windy, comma, so it's yeah, very it cold. It's very mm -hmm. cold. It's very cold. It's very cold. Unamos esto. Right. Ay, ¿qué significan? En. En. Mm -hmm. Y, y, o sea, va a unir dos ideas similares. It's snowing, it's windy. Va, va a contrastar. Miren esto, it's sunny. ¿Qué se supone si hace sol? ¿Qué debería ser? ¿Cómo sentiríamos el clima? Calor. Hot. Calor. Hot, right? Hot. It's sunny. Hot. It's sunny. Hot. Pero. It's cold, pero it's cold. está helado. Cold. So, esto es como una consecuencia. Okay, it's windy. So, it's very cold. Puede ser tomado como, entonces, está helado. It's raining. So, it's very cold. It's sunny. So, it's very hot. Y así unir ideas que son el resultado de la primera. ¿Ok? Y. Pero. Entonces. Entonces. Mm -hmm. Look at these examples that I have. I am learning English. Primera oración, y le voy a poner la otra. I am learning English. I am listening English. ¿Con qué uniría estas dos ideas completas, si se fijan? And. So. And. And. Ah, ok, espérense. Voy a hacer más pequeñita. I don't really like that. Tengo ya dos opciones diferentes. I really like it. I am oh, too small. Es muy pequeña. Let me pick this one. 24. I like this one. I am learning English. Es mi primera idea. I am learning English. And the other one is. ¿Qué le puse? I am listening. Listening. English. English. Okay. English. Okay. ¿Qué opinan? Are these different opinions? Are they so, the opposite? Or no. one is the consequence of the other? O una es la consecuencia de la otra. Yes. Yes, right? So, what are you going to use? And Back or so. 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 ¿Cómo va la so. situación? ¿Se acuerdan? ¿Cómo uno so. I am learning English, coma. Coma. There we go. In Africa. So. So. Oh, just one S. So. Like this. So. 
So I am listening in English, right? Exactly. Now look at this one. Uh, let me pick blue, the color blue. It is raining. And I have the other idea. It is very hot. Okay, Mao Classic. ¿Cómo lo unirían? It is raining. It is very hot. But. 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 It is. It is. Okay. But. But, but it is very but, hard. Look at this one. Vean esta mayúscula inicial. Se convertiría en minúscula. Okay, ya. Pasa a ser parte de una sola expresión. Ok, now listen. Solo escuchen. Ok. Um, ah, tell me. Questions? Preguntas? Escuché ahí alguien, ¿no? ¿No tenían preguntas? No, questions. No, la niña. Ah, ok, so don't worry. Don't worry. Sí, por la interferencia. Uh, I thought you were having a question. So, conjunctions in English. This is like extra information. If you go back to the video, they want us. Quieren que nos enfoquemos más que todo en las preguntas, the question form. Ahorita vamos a repasar eso, but let me check the attendance list right now. Please say here or present if you hear your name. Ah, who's listening to music? Les pregunto, what's happening right now? I am listening to music. Yes. Ah, quería poner ejemplo en la clase. Muy bien. Ah, qué casualidad. This is my job. Okay, don't worry. They are listening to music. Yes, I know. No, saben que eh, yo entiendo perfectamente. Así son las clases virtuales. Estamos desde casa. Vieran lo que me ha pasado a mí varias veces en las clases, si les contara. Ok. Tuesday, no. Thursday, 27. Alonso Jeremías. Alonso. Yes, it's the correct group. Andrea Stephanie? Present teacher. Excellent. Angel Uciel? Present. Excellent. Cecia Abigail? Present teacher. Excellent. Damaris Claribel? Dolores Patricia? Present teacher. Excellent. Erwin Adiel? Present teacher. Ok, Fernando José. Excelente, Giovanni Alexander. Ok, Giovanni, now I can see you. Jenny Margarita. Joana Marbelli. Present teacher. Ok, excelente. José Valmore. Present. Excelente. José Francisco. Josiel Osmani. Carla Azucena. Ok, Carla. ¿Ah? Carla Patricia. <risa> Okay, Josiel is right there. Thank you, Josiel. Excellent. Carla Patricia is not in the class. No? Oh, Jenny. Jenny is right there. Jenny. Muy bien, Jenny. Ya la vi por ahí. Marlon Jonathan. Marlon Jonathan. Excellent. Marvin Danilo. Oscar. Ok, Marvin Danilo. 
they forget that they are in classes. Okay, Marvin Danilo is not in the class right now. Mar Mauricio Edgardo. Milagro de la Paz. I'm here, I'm here, okay. teacher. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Milton here. Ernesto, yes. I'm here, teacher. Okay, los que vinieron tarde se perdieron de esa teacher. Oscar Armando. I'm here, teacher. I'm excellent. Oscar, excellent. Oscar Francisco. Oscar, Francisco, your microphone. Ahí está. I'm here, teacher. ¿Y dónde es que anda? <laughs> In my job. In my job. In my job. Chao. Gracias por el esfuerzo, Oscar. Muy bien. Rubidia Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Ok, excelente. Saúl Ernesto. Present, teacher. Excelente, Saúl. Stephanie Brenda Lee. I'm here, teacher. Excelente. Valeria del Carmen. Present teacher. Okay, Vanessa and Valeria, I'm sorry, and Vanessa Alejandra. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay, let's go to the platform. And there you are going to find some exercises. Here we go. Present continuous. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Teacher, the mía me mencionó. Okay, Damaris, let me see. Uh -huh. Sí, Damaris. Ahorita actualizo su asistencia. Excelente. Did you already complete this exercise or not? Look at this one. Sí, sí. I guess it's two. This one. Look at the pictures and input the correct answer in the blank. Y le falta in the blank. Some sentences will have a negative connotation and some positive. Follow the example. What is the example that we have here? My name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing high heels too. What tenemos acá, miren, the complete form, la forma completa. I'm wearing high heels Two. Now, look at the picture that we have here. And we have a girl. Pueden ver la picture. Do you see this girl in the picture? What is she wearing yes, right is. now? A green suit. Aha, uh -huh. she's saying, my name's Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. And take a look at the shoes. Mira los zapatos que tiene. Okay, now, are mm -hmm. bigger. What type of shoes are those? High heels. High heels. So what is she saying right now? Ya tenemos el I por ahí. Sería am, el verbo wear. ¿Y qué le sigue? I-N-G. I And I'm wearing high heels too. Okay. Picture number one again. What is happening in picture number one? What is happening right now? It's getting wet. Today is raining. How is the weather? Raining. How oh, it is? Raining. How is the weather? Look, it is raining. Ahorita in a picture, it's not raining. So how is the weather? It is raining. It is raining. Es lo que nos está expresando Claire. It's raining, but, pero, I'm miren, not. está contrastando, pero, I, a raincoat, is she wearing a raincoat right now or not? No. No, she doesn't no. have a raincoat. So, ya tengo el sujeto, que le sigue verbo to be, not, porque es negativo. El verbo wear y que le sigue ing. And that's it. Picture number two. What do we have in picture number two? ¿En dónde están ellos ahorita en la picture number two? In the park. park. At the park. park. 
Who do you see? I can open in a picture number two. We have a girl. Is that a boy or a, or a girl? The one in yellow. A boy. I guess a it's boy. a boy, right? And who is And the he? dog. And the dog. And the dog. And the dog. What are they doing? ¿Qué están haciendo? Skating. Ah, skate. Eso sería con patineta. Ok, but don't worry. Ahorita averiguamos mm -hmm. cómo se dice. Here we go. Skate rolling. Skate rolling. It's hot today. How is the weather? It's hot. It's hot today. ¿Cómo es el clima? It's hot today. It's hot. So she... Let me make it bigger. Oh, she, um, está más grandecito, se veía muy pequeño. Toshi and Noriko are wearing shorts and t-shirts. Sure. Sure. It's very sunny. It's very sunny. Miren el contraste. But, ¿qué pasa? They sunglasses are they wearing sunglasses right now or not no 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 so this is a negative sentence ya tenemos el sujeto que they que le sigue no. verbo to be are, no. No. no no el verbo no. wear y luego ing mm -hmm. mm -hmm. very good job picture number three ¿Quién tenemos en la picture number three? Who's that? Man. It's a man. What is he wearing today? Oh. It's a suit. What color is that suit? The jacket brown. is? Brown. It's brown, brown. and the brown. pants? Gray. 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 Probably gray, yes. I guess those are gray. And how is the weather? It's windy, teacher. It's windy. windy. It's windy. windy. Ya vieron que estamos mezclando todo lo que hemos aprendido. It's windy. Colores, teacher, la ropa. Fall. Ajá. Este que fall. Los árboles que se ven de colores. Yes. El clima. Ah, the fall. season. It's fall. Entonces, sí. It's fall. The season. Exactly. That is the season. Muy bien. So, feel is wearing a suit today. Como me dijeron, excellent. He, a brown shirt. No se alcanza a ver, pero creería que sí. A brown shirt. Is he wearing a brown shirt right now or not? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, no. Let me make it no. bigger. ¿Será que está? Yo creo que sí, I guess. Ah, bueno, ah, probemos si es sí o no. I guess he is. Uh -huh. So, he, ya tengo el sujeto. Uh -huh. Afirmativo, verbo to be. Verb. Uh -huh. And ing. So, yes, he is. He's wearing a brown shirt. Uh -huh. A tie today. Ah, desde acá me indica que, que es un contraste. O sea que él está o no vistiendo una tie today. Is he wearing a tie today or not? No. No. ¿Qué nos indica que no está vistiendo una corbata? The picture. But ok, number one, better. the picture and the expression. But. The expression. El contraste. But. But he is but. not... Wearing a tie today. No. He's not wearing a tie today. Picture number four. Who is this? This is a, it's a, it's a girl, right? A Tell girl. me about the weather. How is the weather? Winter. I see. Sweet. Ah, oigan bien, les pregunto sobre el weather, no. no sobre la season. Mm -hmm. How is the weather? Joanna Marbelli, how is the weather? No wind. Walk. It's and walking on the coming. No wind. No, listen to my question. How is the weather? The weather is snowing. It's snowing. 
Oh, it's snowy or it's snowing. Very good. Vanessa Alejandra, um, what is she wearing today? Wearing oh. What is she wearing? She's wearing. She's wearing. A sweater, probably. Yeah. Pen. She's wearing. Knickers and. What is And a hat. Yeah. And what is she doing? Dolores, what is she doing? What is she doing? Is well. ¿Qué está haciendo? What is she doing? English class. She's she's walking. She's walking. She's walking, walking. Okay. She's walking right now. Look, it's cold today, but Katie is not. She isn't wearing a coat she, she is she is sweat shirt gloves mm -hmm. and a hat so she is or she is not wearing a okay. sweatshirt is, is wearing it's affirmative is. she is wearing. Mm -hmm. you know what is the meaning of this one sweatshirt mm -hmm. what is that it's very similar to a sweater very mm -hmm. similar it's like the combination yeah. of sweater and shirt, sweatshirt. What do you go? Not really. It's not camisa, siempre. Un sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Solo que es similar a un sweater. And here mm -hmm. we go. Is she wearing boots or not? It's not. No. No, those are not boots. Not wear it, not. So she is wear. not. Uh -huh. Where's the verb? Wearing. Wear wearing. Is she wearing sneakers right now? Yeah, she, yeah, yes, she yes. is. So yes. how do we spell it? She is, is wearing. She's wearing sneakers. Wearing. Okay, let's okay. check. Revisemos out. Sí, estamos bien. Ah, está bien. Mm -hmm. Vaya, creo que algunos me consultaron sobre este ejercicio específico. Sí, costó un poquito. A mí me sí, costó. Pero si se fijan, después de esta corta explanation de la clase, creo que ya quedó un poco más. Okay, algo que no quiero que, re, que olviden, I'm sorry, forget, esto, el contraste, este tipo de palabras, va. Va. Ajá. Uh -huh. I guess, creo que no encontramos las otras, and. Ah, aquí hay una, un ejemplo, miren. So she and Noriko are wearing shorts and mm -hmm. t-shirts. Mm -hmm. Me describe dos ideas iguales. Ropa. Y aquí sigue hablando de ropa. Shorts, t-shirt. The same. And aquí hay otro contraste. Miren, but. Pero. Entonces ahí me indica que es lo opuesto. Negative. Okay. Questions about this. Preguntas sobre lo que vimos ahora. The present continuous. I'm going to send this picture too. Questions about the topic, the present continuous. Para qué lo ocupo? Para hablar de cosas que pasan cuando? In este moment. Now. Right in this moment, exactly. Right in this moment. Right now. Right now. And listen to my examples. Mis ejemplos pueden ser how is the weather? Y ahí lo podemos usar. It is raining. It is snowing. Or I can ask you, what are you wearing? ¿Qué están vistiendo? I am wearing boots. I am wearing a sweater. I am wearing high heels. What are you doing? Esa es más amplia la pregunta. ¿Qué estás haciendo? What are you doing? I am listening to the teacher, I am speaking, I am sleeping, I am watching TV. Many questions, you know? So that is the present continuous. Any other questions about the platform? Terminaron ya la plataforma? Yes? Yeah. No? Vale. Cualquier pregunta, igual. You know, voy a estar chequeando. Hoy sí, I'm so sorry. Creo que algunos me consultaron. 
no pude responder hoy sí estuve full de trabajo todo el día but don't worry de, luego de esto podemos ya completar the last exercise yes no questions tenemos un minutito más mira you are going to look at the picture we have Beth Nick Anita Anita and Bruce y acá son preguntas y si se fijan con qué inician mis preguntas son sí, verbo, to be. verbo to be y qué voy a responder cuando uso el verbo to be qué opciones tengo yes or no yes or not. muy bien entonces yeah. está más fácil todavía is Bruce wearing a light green jacket ven a Bruce he is Bruce Bruce. Bruce. Bruce is the last one. It's a, the tall boy. Yes. Yeah. So? Yes. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Is Nick yes. wearing sunglasses? Yes. It's a little boy. No, he isn't. Yeah. Sunglasses. Yes. No, he is. No, right? Eso no son oh. sunglasses. No. No, 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 no. Um, so no, he's not. What is next? Next question. Is Ben um, wearing a purple jacket and pants? Purple jacket and pants? And pants. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, she, yes. Is. She, yes she is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Okay, ese es el primero, Nick. He's not. Forma no, parte completa. That's, is Ben wearing? Yes, she is. Is John wearing blue jeans? John is the boy in the back. Just no. at the end. Blue no, jeans. No, no. Those it's are the not blue. No, but John is the boy in white. It's this like is John. This is John. 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 No. Yes. It's yes. no. Okay. For me, it's not. So no, no. he's not. No. Is Anita wearing a yellow skirt? Skirt. <laughs> no. Oh. no. Look. Uh, that is not yellow. What color is it? Blue. It's blue. Like so blue. It's like affirmative. Blue. Okay, wait. Vamos a compartir la última. It's light blue. So that is a mm -hmm. negative statement. No, she isn't. Y oh, así nos queda entonces el ejercicio ok, solo les dejo mostrar algo que, que pasó acá en la una coma uno, un, un error exacto, en la 1 ¿por qué le da error? porque fíjense que pide un punto así que póngale puntito ahí está oh, por eso que ah, no me daba es un... por eso, eso les quería mostrar oh, y no sé oh, por qué pide eso, punto ¿eh? María ese punto que no les haga la vida imposible. Y ahí y, está. Uh, <risa> a mí me llamaron que completar esa cosa por ese. Really? Pum. Oh, sorry, ahí está. Sí. Corrección, chicos. Ahí está. Es el puntito que hace falta. No hay excusas para no completar la section 4. Ya las hicimos en la clase. Thank you for coming. Ya dígame, vale. Thank you. Ajá, es que en las 5 me falta una. Tengo. Solo hay dos palabritas que es donde hay unos sonidos y no distingo qué Vaya, es, pero... Envíemelas, no sé si escríbamelas y yo, claro, con gusto le ayudo ahora mismo, ¿ok? Para que quede... ¿En el grupo o aparte? Como quiera, en el grupo o a mi número. Ahí están, ya sabe cuál es mi número, ahí aparece. Sí. Okay, ok, thank you, class. Escríbame cualquier cosa. We are going to continue on Monday, ¿ok? Oh, Have a good night, okay. a good Friday, a good weekend. Good night, teacher. And see you next Happy week. weekend. Good night. Happy weekend to you. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye, good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Everyone.